Is it bubbles or snow? It says snow. If it, if it was to, that would be like a game changer. I, somehow I feel like with this thing, it's probably bubbles. Loud bubbles. Are, oh, so yeah, close. Yeah. Need a snow one. That would have been very cool. Yes, yes. I thought Christmas had started the other day when we saw the decorations at Magic Kingdom. I don't think it's official official by Disney until we see the merchandise. The holidays are here at Walt Disney World. You can actually see inside World of Disney, which is where we are now, it has been totally decked out for the holidays. Snow falling down virtually. You can see candy canes, designs all over the place. It's magical. Today we're taking a close look at some of the merchandise that has dropped for the holidays at World of Disney, which will eventually make its way all around Walt Disney World, let's start off with a few of those masks. Disney's thinking of some new designs for those masks all the time, and this first one has joy and candy canes kind of on it. Looks super nice and super festive. And when I was walking around, I saw guests wearing these masks already. They're that popular. The masks all say they have new fabric, and I'm really, really fascinated by that. I actually think I might buy one in the future to see what the new fabric is all about and test the two, the ones we had from the past Disney ones, and these. Maybe they'll be different. They all come in XL, by the way. Holiday themed, I've seen two different styles. This one and the other one, $9.99 each. One item that really caught my attention immediately is this green kind of spirit jersey slash sweatshirt slash shirt. It's amazing. It's kind of really light material, but it just looks so, so good. I think it's meant for men and women. I gotta be honest with you. I think this is the first like spirit jersey style like shirt, sweatshirt that I've been like super, super tempted by. It's $70, $69.99. It's, it's like lighter. It's not too, too thick. It's not like a sweatshirt level, like a jacket I saw, but I don't know. It feels good, looks good. I'm tempted. The plushes this year look adorable in my opinion, and I love the gingerbread theme all around. Now, these are very special plushes. You can see they are Minnie Mouse themed, love them decorated, but they actually have a scent to them. They smell like gingerbread, and they smell so, so good. You can see the back, kind of that standard. Gingerbread look, not as uh, not not the same kind of decorations, but it's a 360 pillow plush. They've got some really nice home items as well. I really like this little bowl that you can have for the house. It has candy inside, ready for a serving. Sweet treater would make a great gift ready for around the house. In addition, they also have these candles, which I think are great. We already saw them a little while ago, but they smell like gingerbread. These wreaths look phenomenal. Look at those. You can actually see the peppermint all around. It is like that sparkly sequin design. It's kind of got those sequins that you, you don't really change colors or anything when you like, you know, wipe your hand over it, like some of the things we've seen with the sequins on them, but it really, really looks great. Festive feel with that shimmery shine. I love this cookie jar. I love it so much. I think they did a fantastic job with it. You can see the frosting basically looks like you could almost eat it. Almost, not quite. You can see all sorts of their characters on there. There's Donald on the side along with the Mickey windows with the peppermint. And it looks like the entire thing was just handcrafted with maybe like a, a ton of frosting and gingerbread. You, it doesn't have a scent to it, but it almost looks like it has a scent. The kitchen towels this year have that same theme with the gingerbread and Mickeys all around. You get two different towels when you buy the set and you can see there's uh, the, the, the white one and then the one behind it has like the uh, Christmas treats on it. Really nice one. I gotta tell you the Crocs are some of my favorites. I, I like Crocs. I do. I don't wear them that often but these I think are my all-time favorite that I've ever seen and I realize the fuzzy Crocs are the ones that you can't wear around Florida as much, right? Because it's too warm for fuzzy Crocs all the time. But there are several months where I would definitely wear these. I so, so wish they had them in my size. Oh my gosh. So, so nice. You can actually see the design with Christmas and the Magic Kingdom castle, and you can see Mickey on the side. When you kind of tap on Mickey, he lights up. I have never been so tempted by a pair of Crocs. The, the um, Make-A-Wish ones, those were those are up there as well. They really are, but the, the holiday ones right there. I don't know, I'm super, super tempted. I, the fuzzy Crocs, I love it. From as big a size they have is a nine. Crocs. Oh. The apron this year is Baking Spirits Bright. So, so nice. Baking, you know, instead of making spirits bright, I think that's super cute. You can see it's one size fits all. It's got the Magic Kingdom, stars, gingerbread Mickey. It's complete right there. Now we saw several ears for the holidays already and I love it. Gotta tell you, the gingerbread one I think is gonna be one of the most popular. You can see Mickey and Minnie, totally made of gingerbread, decorated with peppermint cheeks. I like that, you see that? Mickey's wearing the Santa hat on the left, Minnie's got her bow on the right, and there's a bow in the middle, like for you, like your bow, I like that, with peppermint candy in the middle along with a kind of peppermint feeling bow. I like that a lot. We see a lot of matching clothes this year. That's something that I think Disney's 
kind of carrying over from year to year. We saw that last year too. You can see Peppermint design with that shirt with Mickey there. Scrolling down a little bit, you can see the leggings that go with it. Kind of pajama set, and you see more of this throughout World of Disney. A very, very cool idea. I feel like something like this, where it comes as a set already, is just such an easy thing to gift, because then you don't have to worry about, okay, what goes with this? Or what does my friend or family member have that goes with this already? It's kind of an all-in-one package. The musical train figure, always a lot of fun. Just kind of sits out, plays music. They've got, uh, I think this was similar to the one they had last year, but a nice one. Now for the lounge fly bags, which have already been extremely popular. As I was standing here, I saw guests pulling them off the shelves. They were that popular. Not, you know, not aggressively. They were just, you know, it was orderly fashion. But let me tell you, people were excited about these bags. And there are two of them for the holidays. The first one is this peppermint one here, which has the stripes going through it. The red kind of zipper. See how the red, you know, it's a zipper that's red. I like that. The gold pull. That's super nice. The ears and the peppermint on top. The other lounge fly bag features Mickey and a lot of holiday decorations, including Cinderella Castle, basically totally made of what looks like gingerbread or something else. But you notice how they're a little bit different. It, it looked very carefully, the one on the right and the one on the left. See how where the placement is is a little bit different on each one? That I think is very, very smart. And they've done this before with other lounge fly bags, but it's really like easy to tell here with the holiday one because you can really tell Mickey's kind of that the third layer from the top, and then the other one on the left hand side, Mickey's underneath the zipper pull. That's just, I don't know, It's to me it's a smart idea, it makes it uniquely yours. A question that I have, which is going to be more popular? The Mickey Christmas lounge fly bag, a great looking one. You can see the ornaments, you can see Mickey, you can see the castle, kind of the dark blue and reds and greens on there, or the peppermint one. Between the two, I think this one's gonna be more popular. I don't know, somehow it just, it grabs you for the holidays. The, the red and white stripes for the peppermint, those uh, kind of fluffy red ears. It's not like a fluffiness, it's more of like a squishy inside. You actually see the ears back there, lounge fly bag. So popular. More ears are here. We've got the standard green ones on the left hand side, which are really nice. You know, we see a lot of red ones for the holidays, but this is like a darker green. And I'm gonna say it kind of looks like a Loki look to me. I know it's Christmas, it's meant for Christmas, but it's got a Loki green to it. On the right hand side, you'll see the other holiday ones there, super sparkly and nice red. And the green bow, love that peppermint in the middle, and the fuzzy, the fuzzy snow exterior of those ears. The table runner this year looks great. You can see those characters stitched on the front. They've kind of got like a 3D look to them. I really like that a lot. Peppermint stripes going around the outside. Really, really nice. 72 inch long table runner. I know that's usually a question with table runners. The countdown to Christmas calendar is always super popular. You open up each day before Christmas. So the days of December and then sure enough, you open it up and you get chocolate each and every day. Super, super popular. And speaking of popular sweet treats for the holidays, we've got these Rice crispy. I'm gonna call them lollipops. They're not, they're, you know, the Rice crispy treats dipped in chocolates with sprinkles on a stick, but they're, <laughs> they're very popular and they look great. The little stocking stuffer, a little extra. I feel like it's a, such a nice item. Now the plates are super nice. They've got that really cool kind of like uh, the Christmas theme, but you see how they're like, Goofy's got like the, I don't know, like elf to him. You can see Donald's kind of wrapped up with <laughs> Peppermint strings there. There's Minnie. I love that. They're really, really nice. You can see Fab U Lust, like Yule Log and Ho 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 with Mickey Mouse holding those presents. They look awesome. They've got the gold trim going around them, and the design itself does look really sturdy. Like it's not going to come off in the dishwasher. That's just my guess. I'm not sure, but it looks good. All the plates are awesome. They're really, really nice. They have. They're not really raised paint. That's one of the things you get to think about all the time. Is the paint raised? Will it uh, fade with time? Don't know. $14.99 is the price. Is there a deal to get all four together? Not sure. There's our answer. Priced individually, $14.99. Love the mugs this year. You can see mistletoe being held over mini by Mickey. That's super cute. You can see they've got, again, the kind of like thinner leg style, both Mickey and Minnie. It's like a, I don't know how to describe, like an elf. A little bit, a little bit unique. On the inside of the mug, by the way, you'll actually find a uh, mistletoe inside the bottom of this mug. The tumblers for coffee this year are super nice. Love the snow coming down. Red background. You can see they've got Cinderella Castle, Mickey and Minnie. You can see Mickey's actually putting Duffy into a box like for a, as a present. You can see uh, Pluto's pulling that train and Chippendale as well. So nice. Super nice light up sign here. Tis the season to be jolly. Lights all around. Love that snow kind of with the lights behind it as well. Super nice. Something for I think inside 
the home. I think it's meant for indoors, not outdoor use. Love it. Now these trees are super nice. I really, really like it. You can see the train going around. You can see the tiki bird and of course Small World as well. And what it does, this is actually a music box. On the back there's that little um, turn key that you can turn and it makes music as the wreath goes around and around with the little Disney icons on there. It kind of moves around by itself. Super, super nice playing a Christmas tune. I love this, I really do. Leggings this year look great. You can see they've got a lot of gingerbread. There's peppermint sticks, cookies, hot cocoa. There's candy cover, it's chocolate covered apples there on a stick and more. I love it all, I really, really do. It just looks super festive and I think the black with the colors looks great. Like this kind of the black background and you've got the colors kind of popping out of it. If you look on the mannequin, you can see it even better here and I, I think it looks great. I really, really do. Some of my favorite holiday leggings that I've seen. Now this sweater is incredible, absolutely incredible. They took, in my opinion, a great looking kind of like an Alaskan feeling sweater. I don't know, I don't know why I say Alaska with it. It's just, it looks Alaskan to me, I don't know. It's meant for colder environments where you can actually see it's super, super thick and has a great design to it. Very, very cool style. Zipper has the collar, look at the back. Talk about tempted by merchandise here. Price for this one is $120. It's expensive, it is. And it's super thick, meant for colder conditions. Probably happens for a month. That sweatshirt really called to me. Problem is, when can you wear a sweatshirt like that? It's it's too thick for Florida. See, that's where a sweatshirt like this makes a lot more sense to me. It is, it's like three times lighter. So I feel like you can wear it a lot more in Central Florida. Just me. I mean, if you're traveling from somewhere in the north, then that one makes more sense. But, I don't know. Now they've got those standard items as well, like the Santa hats, which you know we all love. Red and green, the magic bands for the holidays. They're also gonna have special ones, I'm sure. But just for now, the standard red and greens and more of those Santa hats. A nice Mickey sweater over here as well, which is a little bit unique, a little bit different. Kind of a standard Disney sweater. This is when I think of Disney sweater, I think more like this, rather the, than the uh, quote unquote Alaskan themed one. Mickey plushes dressed as Santa. You can see those very special throws. We'll get back to some more throws in a moment. Throw blankets. And there's mini plush as well. A lot of great holiday plushes. They've got stockings, kids clothing, pajama bottoms, and of course more of those Santa hats. And if you look in the bottom right there, you can actually see that jacket. That's uh, super nice. Got that kind of fluffy collar. I'm going to call it a collar. Fluffy collar there. It's got the plaid design. Super, super nice. I think those on the bottom right are going to be so popular. Here's a closer look at them. They actually have mini right on the front. See how mini's up there? It's it's a jacket. It's, it's a very light jacket with that fluffy collar. I really think this is going to be a popular item around the holidays. It just To me, it just looks so comfortable. Great Christmas slippers here. You can actually see kind of a fluffy interior and it's got like Mickey and Minnie and then sequins on the outside. Gotta love this shirt right here. Merry, happy, joy, just for the holidays. The stockings look great this year. You can see the red and green ones. Here's the peppermint on that corner there, hanging up above, waiting for Santa. We've got Peppermint Sporky along with Baby Minnie and Mickey along with Chip and Dale, all dressed up for the holidays. For those wanting plushes, you can find them in huge amounts at World of Disney and I'm sure all around Disney in the coming week. Now along with the very cool Christmas cookie jar, we've got the very interesting looking tree that spins around and makes music. I love that one. It's, we saw it last year too, it was really nice. They've got chocolate hot cocoa and the uh, chocolate tin as well in the middle. Happy holidays, great for gifting. I feel like it's just, it's the perfect gift. We've got more of those green ears along with the blue snow balloon ears. Those are gonna be popular, I can already tell. We've got ears for you to kind of put in as a bow in your own hair. You see it's like red and silver and black with the ears, peppermint in the middle, just to put in your hair. It's just, it's such a smart idea. If you don't want to wear the ears, you've got a, a bow instead. Now this is a kid style spirit jersey, Walt Disney World with Minnie on the front. Super, super nice, kind of a lighter green to it. Not that darker green that we're used to for the holidays, but really, really nice for kids. Again, this that's the front. The front is with the spirit jersey, kind of written, written out Walt Disney World. Another great one is this Mickey and Minnie one holding those candy canes together or along the zipper line. I think that's so smart. On the back there, you can see snow, much fun, Walt Disney World. These snow wands are amazing, love it. So you can see the snow on top, Santa hat. I just, I love the whole thing. I think this is one of my favorites. The, uh, I was hoping that it would kind of have snope, which is the soap and snow, you know, mix coming out of them. It does not, I confirmed it, but 
but next year, Disney, come on. I think this is the coolest bubble wand that I've seen at Disney. There was an Iron Man gauntlet one that was also super cool, but this one is just so, so cool. Look at the snow on top. Santa hat. I mean, that's... It's hard to beat. It would be amazing though if it uh, it had snow coming out of it. It's what we call snow in Florida. Snow where it's it's open it would be amazing. Next time. Now the peppermint necklace I really like. I really really do. We've seen kind of the Mickey design and we saw the candy from Halloween. Like we saw a candy glowing necklace, but now we see the peppermint design and it's glowing and flashing there at night. Yeah, I love that. The problem is, if I don't take off this sweatshirt, I'm gonna end up walking out with it like accidentally. Like, you ever do, you know, I'm so worried about that. It's like you try something on, you love it, you say to yourself, oh, I'm just gonna try it on for a while. And you end up like thinking about, oh, I'm gonna leave now, and you're so afraid I'm gonna walk out of the store with it on. In addition to the whole holiday section behind me, which used to be Halloween just a day ago, we've got this brand new snow collection. That's what I'm gonna call this. You can see snow collection, the white pillows. The red skirt, the gold all around. The snow section looks fantastic. From the pillows to the ears, there's so many things to see. The pillows here, you can see the white snow background. I love that. Mickey and Minnie kind of skating on the ice together. Very, very nice. You can see the gold trim around the hats. Love that. Here are those uh, snow balloon ears. <laughs> Again, these are so nice. I feel like these are just like, I don't know, a little bit better. And the standard balloon ears, I, I like them. I really, really do. Now we've got this really nice sweatshirt here, which has this, I don't know, I love the theme to it. Same image that we see, celebrate the season on the back of the sweatshirt. But look at the sleeves and the um, the hood there. Kind of looks like, I don't know, like a super fluffy, like ultra fluffy on the front there. You can see Mickey holding the lantern, but the fluffiness of the, the arms there, the sleeves, they look super nice. Now these ears were in the snow section and I think I've seen them before but they are here, just wanted to mention that. The magic of the season, kind of a white shirt here, longer sleeves, red sleeves, love that, and then white on the back. Such a nice one, great, kind of like an open, kind of a more open collar on that one. Small World, we have seen this very special display inside the Christmas store at Disney Springs. This is now inside World of Disney, so you can get them here, Musical Nutcracker, so, so nice with the Small World, and they're all kind of playing their own instruments, I love it. The Oogie Boogie Nightmare Before Christmas is another Nutcracker, kind of more of a full size Nutcracker, has the beard, has the gift, love that. It was available as well in the Christmas store at Disney Springs, but now it's inside World of Disney. Onesies are always so popular at uh, Christmas time around Disney. You can see they've got the holiday ones here. Now I love these throw blankets, really, really do. This one I think is my favorite of the season. You can see, all right, there's Minnie sleeping on the couch. And you've got Mickey being Santa, Pluto's one eye open looking at Mickey, saying, oh, you know, shh, be, be quiet, Pluto, be quiet. Don't wanna wake up Minnie, because we're giving her gifts. I love it, such a great one. Speaking of Pluto, and other furry friends. You can see Disney Tales has a whole new collection for your favorite furry friend for the holidays. So they can be dressed up just like you. Maybe you can wear a, a kind of a matching style. I'm not saying matching exactly, but matching style to your favorite furry friend. The onesies Disney have come in that blue color or the red one. I like them both. Gotta be honest, like them both. Really depends on your, uh, your favorite style. I feel like the red's probably gonna be more popular just because it's more like a I don't know, you know, red seasonal rather than the blue, but I don't know. I think I'd like wearing the blue quite a bit. This glowing tree is so, so nice. Now, this is a great one. You can actually see it's got the marbles on it that glow here. See how they're kind of glowing a little bit? Those are indeed kind of powered by battery. We have a similar tree a friend got from me a while back. I love it, absolutely love it. Really makes for a kind of festive feel. Of course, with the season, they've got tons of ornaments. Whether it's just Mickey and Minnie kind of skating or on bells or inside of a snow globe or a great scene or maybe on horseback, whatever it is, you can find some amazing ornaments now at World of Disney. In addition, we've got some light-up figures and some different stockings. So these are a little bit different to hang above the tree. I do like the style quite a bit. So the ones that we saw before, I felt like were good for kids and everybody. These are kind of meant for like the the older Disney fan in your party. That's me. I like them both, but I really like this one. Now here's another throw blanket, a totally different style. Kind of a kind of a more of a fleece look to it rather than kind of that fluffy material. More of a fleece. Smaller one, you can see the design on the front is very similar to the ones we've seen around. So you could actually hypothetically have something that matches throughout the house. Can you imagine that? You got the blanket, you got the lounge fly bag, maybe the onesie. I mean, so many items could have that same style to it. I feel like it's 
It's so festive. We've got the countdown to Christmas along with some other figures, and then right there at the bottom you can see more of those countdown timers, counting the days before St. Nick's ride. Now we've got these great wreaths as well, which kind of incorporate a lot of those different, uh, I'm gonna call them snowballs, that's what I like to call them, around with the uh, mini bow on top. The Holiday Express was the first sign we saw of holidays coming to Disney Springs. Just a few days have passed, and now we see it. Yeah, the main section for holidays at Disney. And I should mention, it's a very big gingerbread theme this year. And I love it. It's so nice. So, so nice projections and all. I'm glad I walked over here by kind of like the central area of the uh, World of Disney shop. There's more here. They have matching sweater and sweatpants here. Very, very nice for the holidays. You can see kind of the Christmas feel to it all. There's an ornament there, fluffy inside, and the sides got that plaid look to them. Goes super well together. Just spoke to a very kind cast member who told me that they ran out of a spirit jersey this morning. Like, it sold out that fast. I never saw it. We'll see you later in the season. Oh my gosh, look at that. Something else we didn't see in the holiday section over there. Now, I'm glad we checked out this section because you can see it's a totally new sweatshirt that we find here. Kind of that green and uh, red Mickey on the front, and then we got inside the hood, kind of a peppermint, and on the back, super, super nice design. $64.99 for these sweatshirts. I love the front zipper. You can open up all the way in the front. Super convenient. I love some of the items they have for the kitchen table. For example, you've got this serving tray here, which is actually deeper than it looks. See that? It's really it's difficult to see from this angle, but it is deeper than it looks there. Mickey and the whole gang spreading that holiday cheer. Now, I love this hanging banner here. This is a great happy holidays. Believe it or not, it does light up, but I haven't figured out how. Now, the reason I know that it says I light up. First of all, that was my first clue. Second clue in the back, it comes with batteries right in there. Tough to see but I'm not sure where the lights are. Like it's like I'm looking at it and I don't, well they all have batteries included with them. I love that, but I cannot figure out, none of them have the batteries already included. So, or like already installed. So we can't see how it lights up, but it, it lights up. Overall holiday is shaping up to be fantastic at Walt Disney World. Thanks so much for being a part of the Christmas magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.